in a heart-wrenching revelation, the tragic final wish of Allison Carey, Mariah Carey's estranged sister, has emerged as friends of the late Allison accused the global superstar of turning her back during Allison's dying days. As Allison lay on her deathbed in a small apartment in Coxsackie, New York, her one wish was to repair the fractured relationship with her famous sibling. However, according to Allison's closest friends, that wish was never granted. Allison's heartbreaking story, intertwined with a lifetime of struggles, shattered dreams, and a once-closed sisterhood, paints a stark contrast to the glamorous life her younger sister leads. Now, as Allison's passing adds another chapter to the tragic saga of the Carey family, many are left questioning whether forgiveness and healing could have taken place before it was too late. Allison Carey's life was one filled with hardship. Despite once sharing a close bond with her younger sister, Mariah, the two became estranged as their lives diverged dramatically. Allison, who struggled for years with drug addiction, worked as a prostitute in New York City to make ends meet and was diagnosed with HIV in 1990. Her descent into addiction and legal troubles, including a 2016 arrest for alleged prostitution, further distanced her from the Carey family, particularly Mariah, who, by then, had risen to international fame. In her 2020 memoir, The Meaning of Mariah Carey, the pop icon labeled Allison as her ex-sister, accusing her of introducing her to drugs at a young age and attempting to exploit her for financial gain. For Mariah, the decision to cut Allison out of her life was one made to protect her own mental and emotional well-being, a choice she wrote about with conviction. However, for Allison, that estrangement remained a source of deep pain. David Baker, a close friend and healthcare proxy for Allison during her final days, revealed in an exclusive interview that Allison's dying wish was to reconnect with Mariah, despite the hurt caused by their years-long rift. Allison, bedridden and on hospice care for the past month, still hoped that Mariah would reach out, if only for a conversation. But according to Baker, Mariah never made the call. Allison was hurt by the way she was treated, but she still wanted to make amends, Baker said adding that Allison had mixed feelings about her tumultuous relationship with both her mother and sister. Mariah's recent statement confirming the deaths of both her mother, Patricia, and Allison on the same day was met with backlash from those closest to Allison, who felt that the singer's focus remained squarely on herself rather than on the tragedy of losing two family members in such quick succession. Allison's life had been marred by a series of unfortunate events, including a violent home invasion in 2015 that left her brain damaged and grappling with severe health issues. In 2016, she made a public plea to Mariah for financial support, begging her sister to help her during a time of desperate need. Mariah, I love you, I desperately need your help, Allison implored, hoping that her famous sibling would come to her aid. But the plea, like many others, went unanswered. Baker, who had been Allison's advocate for the past nine years, noted that while Allison had remained sober for over three years, her health continued to decline until her body ultimately succumbed to internal organ failure. In her final weeks, Allison was barely conscious, and her children, who visited her before she passed, struggled to come to terms with her condition. Mariah Carey has long been open about the toxic dynamics within her family, specifically the issues surrounding her siblings. She wrote candidly in her memoir about the traumas of her childhood, placing much of the blame on Allison and their older brother, Morgan. While Morgan and Allison had both pursued legal action against Mariah for what they deemed cruel and outrageous allegations in the memoir, their attempts at reconciliation never gained traction. Allison, who had inherited $1.6 million from their father, Alfred Carey, after his death in 2002, squandered much of her fortune due to her addiction, leaving her dependent on external help as her medical bills mounted. Despite the turmoil, Baker maintained that Allison never stopped hoping for a reconciliation. She had a really rough time in her life, and I don't think most people could go through what she did without being affected, Baker shared, describing Allison as an intelligent and sensitive person who had been deeply wounded by her family's rejection. The estrangement with Mariah, in particular, haunted her until her final moments, with Baker emphasizing that no matter what, Allison still viewed Mariah as her sister, something that time and trauma could never fully erase. As the world mourns the passing of Allison Carey, the painful reality of familial rifts in the public eye once again comes into focus. 
While Mariah Carey has long stood by her decision to distance herself from her sister for self-preservation, Allison's tragic final wish speaks to the lingering hope for redemption and forgiveness that so often accompanies fractured relationships. Allison's story is one of struggle, resilience, and ultimately, a heart that longed for healing. As the music world turns its attention to Mariah's own grief over losing both her sister and her mother in such a short span, it's a stark reminder that even in the world of fame and fortune, unresolved family wounds can leave scars that no amount of success can heal. For now, Allison Carey's memory lives on, not only as the estranged sister of a global superstar but as a woman who, despite her battles, held on to the belief that reconciliation was possible, if only her wish had come true before it was too late.